And it was really difficult to think about anything that seemed appropriate for how beautiful the space already is in its raw state. Where I ended up was thinking about anthropomorphizing this expansive, enormous space and sort of using it as a set for a psychological theater. This is something that feels a little bit more like a dream. What's real? We are sitting in the cistern for my new work titled Ha Ha Real, commissioned for the Buffalo Bayou Partnership. I started using technology when I was really young, you know, and that really became like one of my like first ways to creatively express myself in the world. Outside of uh, drawing and using my hands, I was programming and hacking apart video games. And it's a very like native way for me to express myself. Every screen, every object, every asset, everything visually. It started as a storyboard, first with a hand-drawn animation, and then moved into digital animation. And I actually live recorded all of those performances from the video game engine that I designed for this project. Now that you're doing quickening, it's spinning fast. And so I started pulling on the Velveteen Rabbit, at the same time doing research into the brain-to-machine implants and this psychological effect called the quickening effect, um, which is where a lot of my research is at the moment. I liked that as the sterility of talking about the research as this one node I was exploring, and then something that was as so pure as something as your favorite childhood story. One of the more unique properties of this space is that it is just acoustically, it's really unusual and really challenging. And there's only a few things that can really work. And free is so present. There's a lot of crossover and similarities in what we care about. The moment I heard her, it was like really evident that I wanted her to be the voice of everything in this piece. It's the latest story that I know is the one that I'm supposed to go out with. By the time you are real, most of your fur has been loved off. Your eyes drop out. Narrative voice and storytelling has been like the overarching theme. And so the immersive project is based on the book, The Velveteen Rabbit. And it's about the process of becoming real, everything that you have to lose and gain in that process. As we were building the narrative, Rachel was just very meticulous about how that dynamic of becoming and unbecoming was reflected in the, the elements of sound. I love The Velveteen Rabbit for it being a story about how to not become disillusioned despite loss and pain and what comes with moving through life. Today, technology is something much more cognitive. It's more of a peripheral for consciousness and the way that we experience our emotional realities. So there's lots of ways to do these like strange winks or like strange sort of nods to that type of operating system that's sort of running in the background of our lives. One of the artists that Rachel included in the research process is Marcel Duchamp. And one of his speeches here in 1957 was in Houston and he was talking about how the artist is essentially the medium, but the spectator is the one who completes the work. And this, this work really magnified that concept and really brought it full circle for me. I'm a conduit, I'm a vessel for all these things that I'm able to synthesize, but the most important part is the people who receive it. As like the questions that are raised by the Velveteen Rabbit, um, I believe Duchamp answers, uh, and coincidentally he answered them in Houston. How do you stay real? Despite all of the forces of what reality demands, this is a work that is deeply personal, and I would like for most people to stay as present as they can in their own center while interacting with the piece.